In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to erase the background on a photo, on a picture, on a photo. Um, I have, I had this picture saved in, on my clipboard. Yeah, I took it from Google. And I'm going to show you how to cut off this background from this picture. Yeah, I want only the, the lady's face and her hair and her earrings and everything else, but not the green part. So, um, I'll dim it a little bit to 75, make it a little bit transparent. And I'll go to the Bezier tool. Mind you that, um, every curve every round part here is going to be a straight line for now and when we're done with every all the straight lines we will make it better with um the node editor so i'll start here straight line to here to this corner to this corner to this corner um this one mm -hmm. This ear, I'll put it here and then here. Um, the hair. Mm -hmm. Little bit here, here. Let me see. Mm -hmm. This corner. Put it here. Put it here. Bring it here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the earring. We will fix it with the Bessie with the um node editor minus here and then close it right here. Okay. The line the, the stroke is too thin. I'll make it thicker right here. Right click. And I choose one. Ew. Yeah, but we use that, we work with that. Mm, to give the stroke an, another color, left click on stroke. And this will open here. Stroke paint. Color for the stroke. I'll choose red. Let's choose yellow. Yeah. Yellow will work. Okay, now I'll go to the node editor and i'll start here yes mind you it won't be perfect perfect but uh this close to perfect the ear here the earring here it was round so let's keep it round mm -hmm. This will come here. These are my kids on the background. They talk too much. Pardon, pardon my, the noise. Um, here, over here. I want one more here. I'll double click on it. Right here. And I'll bring it down. Okay. This will go here. Mm, here. I don't want the white part. So I'll take it down a little bit. I'll take it down a little bit. With the hook. Okay, here. Mm -hmm. Pay attention carefully. Okay, the ear. We'll bring it up. We want the ear. Yeah, the earring. This is round. So I'll bring it a little bit up. The earring. Here is a little bit round too. Roundish. Okay, the face, the jaw. And then this one. We stand here and try to fit it. You see? Try to fit it here. And here. I think we okay. Let me put one more here. Double click, 
and then yeah and then get him one more come on man yep i think we did a pretty good job by tracing it like that so pay attention carefully this is the outline this yellow is the outline of the of the head the face and the shoulders the earrings okay now, now i'm going to stand here and select both the picture plus the outline and i'm gonna clip it i'm gonna cut it but when i cut it only the part that is outlined will stay will stay the background will be cut off will be gone i'll stand in here and right click and go to set clip you see that let's do it again i'll trace i'll select both you see the double selection you see here double selection one for the yellow for the outline and one for the picture itself and i'll stand here and right click and i'll go to set clip okay there is it again now we have the picture without the background so like the, if right now if i want to trace bitmap trace it like go to path and trace it or let wait let's make it let's put it 200 again 100 yep if i go to path and trace it whoa it will be a big problem because you know the part we cut off the background it is still it's still in the document it's hiding somewhere like a spooky thing check it will show up again Woo! there it is and we don't want it it can still it can haunt don't let it haunt you like that we don't want it okay to be able to be delivered from the background once and for all we're going to export this beautiful picture without the background we're going to export it as a png file as our own file okay go to you select it go to file export png image okay here the units we're gonna put an inch um stand on page and put it into inch page this this whole sheet not the picture but the page this one okay Uh, um, make sure that the picture fits inside the page and then we're gonna click page put the unit to inch like I did before and then put it on 11 inch like a normal sheet normal um, copy paper sheet it a uh, white the width is eight and a half by 11 I changed my pixels to 500 uh, um, dpi that's good okay here you see here i'm the user and the computer is mine but where you see bitmap you you give it a name you name it we're gonna call it h barry excuse me oh my goodness not h barry hb excuse me okay and i'm going to export it export it <clears throat> it's the export is in progress it's exporting it okay export is done i'm going to look for it in my computer in the search bar hb okay here she is you see here she is i'm gonna right click on it open file location okay and here is here she is here is the picture 
I'll go back to um I'll go back to how do you call this place? Inkscape. And I'll delete this. I'm not saving it. Close without saving. I don't want it. I want only this one. I right click on this. Open with, open with Ink, Inkscape. Okay. And I'll go back to Inkscape. And I'll wait for it. I'll wait for it. Yep. Okay. Come on. Come on, waiting. Yep, here she is. Okay, here is our HBPNG. Here is our HBPNG. Without the, without the, how do you call this thing again? Without the background. So you can do this for your own picture. If you want only your face or another picture, I don't know. You can cut it out like this and check if we would like to make a SVG file of this check what will happen trace bitmap I'll, I'll go for a black and white brightness cut off okay it doesn't have a background I'll leave it on smooth and update let's see what will happen you see okay Press OK. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yep. There it is. You see, <clears throat> it will produce a, a SVG file without a background because we have exported it and saved it as a new file. And this is how you can do this for yourself. You can do it with your own picture, your baby's picture, your husband's picture, your mother's picture. If you want to make your SVG like this, if you have all the time to weed all of this, you can create it like this. Thank you for watching. I hope this helps you. Thank you.